Hi y'all folks, this is Max from GalaxyNexusRoot.com um, So today we're going to learn how to install a new ROM um, My vi video tutorial tutorials are for um, basically dummies um, Not dummies, but just people who have never um, you know, dealt with phone hacking before But it's easy if you follow all of my videos and instructions that um, GalaxyNexusRoot.com. So first of all, before you try to install a new ROM, you should have a rooted um, Galaxy Nexus, and also you should have installed Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you don't, I have full instructions, step-by-step -step instructions, um, over at GalaxyNexusRoot.com. Anyway, today's um, topic is how to install a new ROM. So. Um, assuming you've rooted your phone and installed Clockwork Mod Recovery, you should have Super User there. Um, let's boot into Clockwork Mod. Actually, you know what? Let's copy over the ROM file first. So what I'm going to do um, is connect it as a disk drive. All right. So it says it's media device, and we'll go to our computer. And in this example, I'll be installing a ROM called Eagle's Blood, which comes with Android 4.0.3. Um, the, the ROM file name is full underscore macro underscore something dot zip. Every ROM file you're going to uh, install will end up in a dot zip file. Do not unzip it. Um, and just do copy, right? And then we're going to go to our Galaxy Nexus, um, the internal storage. And uh, we're going to copy it over to the root directory and paste. And this will copy over the ROM file, the zip file, um, into your internal storage. And also, before um, you install new ROMs, make sure to make a backup of your current stock ROM, at least one backup. Um, so if something goes wrong, you can always come back. And also, when you install a new ROM, you're going to be um, wiping everything so um, for your Gmail and stuff contacts you can use Gmail just make a Gmail account if you even if you don't use Gmail because it automatically restores all your contacts um, and also for apps you can use titanium backup app to uh, back up all your apps and restore apps I'll also have a video over at galaxynexusroot.com and also on this channel. So once that's copied over, let's go back to our phone. And we're gonna reboot into um, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Hold down the power button to power off and OK. And we're gonna hold down the volume up, volume down, and the power button to get it into fast boot mode. Alright, from there, we're gonna go into um, Clockwork Mod Recovery. So I'm holding all three buttons down now. And it should boot into fast boot with the Android robot with its stomach open. All right, let go and go down uh, one more. Recovery mode, hit the power button. And this will get you into Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you get uh, Android exclamation mark, then that means you didn't install Clockwork Mod Recovery. I have instructions at galaxynexusroot.com for those of you who don't. Um, so let me zoom in and adjust the camera real quick. So what we're gonna do is um, um, we're gonna do wipe data factory reset. Hit the power button. Say yes. Hit the power button. This will erase all your personal data settings apps. Um, so you should have made uh, backup of your apps using Titanium backup. And uh, next, we're going to do install zip from SD card, hit the power button, choose zip from SD card, hit the power button, and then we're going to go find the file we just copied over, which is the ROM file. Hit the power button. Say yes. Hit the power button. And this will install the um, ROM zip file to your Galaxy Nexus. Now, make sure you use the correct ROM files. There's GSM and uh, CDMA versions. GSM is the unlocked international Asian European um, version which I'm, I'm using which is also called the uh, code called Maguro and uh, the Verizon 4G LTE version is called the um, code name Taro so make sure you install the ROM for the correct phone 
Um, even if you install the wrong one, you can use restore feature of the Clockwork Mod Recovery to restore your phone. But you know, if you do it right the first time, you don't have to waste time. So that's been complete. So go back and hit the power button and reboot system now and hit the power button. And uh, once it boots and you get the boot animation of your custom ROM, and if you get make it into the Android system, then everything pretty much went fine as far as um, installing this ROM. So this looks really cool, Eagle's Blood. Um, I actually installed it, I'm not sure which phone it was, but uh, this guy makes pretty good ROMs. And also this comes with a math kits kernel, um, who I'm a big fan of. Um, he makes very good kernels. I think this can be now overclocked. Uh oh. We spelled the galaxy wrong, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. Galaxy Nexus equals blood, baby. Here we go. Um, so I'm just going to wait around until this boots up to show you that everything's um, gone well. If for some reason you end up in a boot loop, a boot loop is when you, you see the boot animation and it gets stuck there for like hours, you know. But if you boot up, you're fine. But if you get stuck in boot loop, you can get into Clockwork Mod Recovery, try clearing cache, and also clearing Dalby cache under advanced. That usually fixes some problems, which some ROMs come with um, some problems with the caching, but that will fix it if you reboot it. Or if that doesn't work, then you can always restore to your backed up ROM, um, or you can install another ROM. So there you go. I've got it boot up. So um, installation of the ROM has been successful. Um, that's how you install a ROM on your Galaxy Nexus. Anyway, next we'll have the review of this ROM, um, 4.0.3. See y'all later. Thanks. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Um, I've installed this ROM, but there's no Google Market or um, Gmail. So, uh, a lot of times these ROMs come with Google Apps separately. That's due to legal reasons. Um, Google doesn't want you to, well, ROM developers to add Google Apps sometimes, and the ROM developers sometimes they they don't um, include them, they include them separately. Um, so to flash the Google Apps is the same thing as a, um, a ROM. So I'm gonna go copy, connect it to my computer as a USB media device. And uh, I'm gonna go copy over the Google Apps. So that's the Google Apps for um, ICS Ice Cream Sandwich. Usually they're compatible across um, other Android phones too. And I'm going to do a copy, same thing as I did before. I'm going to do my Google Nexus internal storage, and I'm going to paste it. And most likely you might be able to use, you should be able to use the same Google Apps zip file for all kinds of different ROMs. So just have it in your internal storage, and you should be good to go. And we'll do the process again real quick. So we're going to turn off our phone. And then hold down your uh, volume up, volume down, power button. Um, this would be a good practice for you to um, get into the clockwork mod recovery and flashing stuff. What I should have done is um, flash the Google Apps right after mm -hmm. I installed, uh, flash the the uh, ROM file. So go down to recovery mm -hmm. mode again. And also here, um, let me adjust the camera real quick. Here, I should have, instead of rebooting earlier, I should have um, installed zip from SD card. I should have done that and then choose it from SD card. And I should have, um, you know, flashed the Google Apps, G Apps, that file, install. And this will install the Google Apps. You don't have to wipe anything. Just have to um, install from zip, uh, install zip from SD card right after you um, do that with the ROM. So I'm gonna go back, reboot system now, and then uh, when it reboots, I'll show you that Google Apps and Market is on there. Hi, folks. So I rebooted, and uh, we should have. Google, Gmail, and Market, where I can install all the apps now. Um, that's pretty much it, and make sure you use um, Titanium Backup to back up all your apps. 
now you can reinstall Titanium Backup to restore restore all of your apps. Alright, thanks y'all and subscribe. See y'all later.